F-16s will end Russian air dominance. Ukraine will receive 85 such fighters. After the voiced and declared intention of Belgium, the total number of F-16 fighters that Ukraine should receive starting this summer has increased to 85, writes Forbes. This is enough to support the Ukrainian F-16 training unit in Romania, which currently operates 18 ex-Dutch F-16s, as well as equipping the equivalent of four squadrons of 16 aircraft each. Three additional aircraft will presumably be in reserve to make up for the inevitable combat losses, the publication says. Brigadier General of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Commander of the Air Command Center Sergei Golubtsov, said in the past that 64 Western aircraft would achieve local air superiority, albeit temporarily. He says he needs four operational squadrons of F-16 fighters to have any chance of controlling the air on one section of the front line. It took more than a year of intense diplomacy between Ukrainian, Norwegian, Dutch, Danish and Belgian officials, but Golubtsov finally received his four squadrons. Forbes states, the F-16's most important targets will be in the air, the general said. Armed with AIM-120 air-to-air missiles, the fighters will be able to force the enemy to completely abandon the attacks that he is currently launching in a certain area. Golubtsov said the general was referring to the escalation of the Russian glide bombing campaign. From mid-2023, the fighters Su-30, Su-34 and Su-35 of the Russian Air Force strike Ukrainian positions and cities using 3,000 bombs per month. The article says it also indicates that the equivalent of four F-16 squadrons could change the balance of power on the front line in favor of Ukraine, but this will not happen immediately. F-16s will be delivered in small quantities over several years as more aging aircraft undergo major overhauls and as more Ukrainian pilots complete their training. On May the 28th, it became known that Belgium pledged to supply Ukraine with 30 of its F-16 fighters by 2028. Moreover, the first aircraft should be delivered before the end of the year. Ukraine announced the destruction of seven Su-25s. Russian aviation is experiencing an apocalypse. The 110th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Army said that in less than a month, it shot down seven attack aircraft of Russian aviation, dealing a crushing blow to Russian aviation and taking some revenge for the defeat in the battles for Abdiivka. According to Forbes, there is convincing evidence that only two Russian Sukhoi were shot down. Therefore, revenge could have been less crushing for the occupiers than reported. The 110th Mechanized Brigade, the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine and even President Vladimir Zelensky announced the destruction of seven Russian Su-25 attack aircraft by Brigade Air Defense Units on May the 4th, 11th, 13th, 18th, 22nd, May the 23rd and May the 25th. As the publication writes, it is not difficult to understand why the 110th Mechanized Brigade can inflate its victories. The brigade has survived a difficult war and perhaps really wants revenge. For more than a year, the 110th Mechanized Brigade stood on the front line in the city of Avdiivka. Holed up in the ruins of the city under constant Russian bombardment, the 2,000-man brigade awaited the inevitable Russian attack. It finally happened in October when the Russian army of at least 30,000 soldiers attacked from different directions. The 110th Mechanized Brigade was desperately short of ammunition, largely because Republicans in the US Congress had delayed aid to Ukraine since the same month the Russians attacked Avdiivka. In mid-February, the 110th Mechanized Brigade withdrew, leaving behind potentially hundreds of casualties and turning what was left of Avdiivka over to Russia. After several weeks of rest, the brigade returned to the new front line west of Avdiivka and was very much looking forward to battle. It is possible that the 110th Mechanized Brigade is capable of shooting down seven Su-25s in a month. In late April, the US Congress finally approved new aid to Ukraine and the Pentagon immediately sent billions of dollars worth of ammunition to Ukraine. Moreover, Russian aviation became much more aggressive with its hundreds of Su-25s during the six months when the Ukrainians were begging for ammunition. Most famously, Russian Su-25s regularly flew directly over the front lines around the front line town of Chasovyar for several weeks starting in mid-April. 
This was a new practice for the Russians. Before the Ukrainians temporarily ran out of air defense ammunition, Russian pilots typically launched their missiles from a safe distance several kilometers from the front line. It is therefore possible that the 110th Mechanized Brigade had more missiles to fire and more Su-25s nearby. Despite this, there is evidence of only two possible downings and this evidence is limited.